Here's the key to earning more money as a painter or any career for that matter. Hi, my name is Rémi Boudreau, licensed painter, color consultant, and owner of Expressions Painting. I'm currently in the middle of teaching a lot of painters from around the world. Uh, they're going through my training program and the first module that we talk about is answering this question because we may not like to admit that, but money is on everyone's, everyone's mind, or at least most of the time, right? There, it's not cheap living in this world. Everything costs money. Uh, you know, money is a real reality that we have to face with. And most of us could do with more money, right? But the thing is that to earn more money, the simple answer is you have to provide more value. That's it. As simple as that. But here's where the, probably, where the, the problem comes. And it has to do with the money. Because money, unfortunately, is a direct link on how we expect that value come back to us. All right? There's a set expectation. I do this, I get this much. That is good in the sense that, yes, we do need to have money come back with uh, for our contributions, but there's other ways that it could come back, not necessarily in the form of money. In my case, I can tell you that close to four years ago, I decided to put some value out there for the homeowners who were thinking about doing the painting themselves, but instead of having them do all sorts of mistakes that I could, I was seeing as very easy to fix, by giving them the proper knowledge on how to do things, then I decided, okay, I'm gonna take some of my time, create a video series, put it out there, it will create value for some people and put that on my website. It took me a day, another day to edit the videos and post those on YouTube and embed them on my website. So that was my way to putting a bit of value in the market. Perfect. Did I get money from that? No, at least not immediately. But fast forward three and a half years later, those videos are being watched by a million people on YouTube. Whoa, credibility, a platform. Now I was able to reach millions of people through my video and able now to influence the industry as I've been wanting to do for years. That then led to establish myself as an expert in the industry. Therefore, gaining credibility, making it much easier to help and support my clients and gain their trust. And now, which is the reason why I'm posting this video, now I'm officially in the middle of training a group of painters and another one starting in a few weeks from around the world. And honestly, if you would have asked me if I could have thought about this unfolding close to four years ago when I decided to put that value out there, I, I would have said no chance. And I'm a pretty creative uh, uh, person and I don't really think that I could have come up with that plan. But that's the point. We don't have all the answers. We don't know how it can all come back to us. But if we simply focus on putting value out there, one way or another, it will come back. And the more you do, the more it comes back. And maybe not all of it will be in the form of money, but some of it will be. And it's, it just becomes so much more fulfilling. But here's the thing, guys. I know that a lot of people are focusing on developing their weaknesses so that they can kind of match up with the rest of their strengths so that they become good at everything or most things. I completely disagree with that approach. My approach is that we are all uniquely gifted. We each have a unique set of abilities that allow us to provide value in this world. But it's by developing, rec first recognizing what those abilities are, putting the focus on self-improvement, self-education, and getting to know ourselves, and then once we recognize what those unique gifts are, to developing those. We do not need to master everything, 
But whatever unique gifts we have, those will be our ticket to providing value in this world. And that is how you will earn more money as a painter or in any other career. So guys, I've been posting videos weekly for the past few months. I am now at a transition in my personal career where I'm now building this online school, which is kind of exciting for me, but I have no idea what to expect. And so I'm giving myself the next two months to fully immerse myself in this uh, school, keeping in mind that I also want to have a balanced life. I have three young kids, I have a wife, and I have a business that I still run here in Moncton. So I am giving myself the next two months, so you will not be seeing these weekly videos for the next two months. But here's my promise to you. They will resume very shortly, and when they do, I will have a whole bunch of new announcements to make because there's a few things brewing in the Expressions Painting Camp that I can't wait to share with you. In the meantime, share your value. Get to know it, put it out. Put as much value as you can without expectations, with no expectations. That is how your career will transform and you will become an active participant and contributor to society. So until then, if you are in a place where you'd like to change your colors, I can help you change your life. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you in a few months. We were on the road for like oh, weeks at a time trying to do some testings and all sorts of stuff. The thing is that it would have been literally much better for me to walk out and just say, screw this. Uh, but uh, I probably wouldn't be painting if I had. And uh, if I hadn't lost that 50 grand, I wouldn't have uh, learned all that I know now. And I wouldn't be talking to you guys. So I believe everything in life happens for a reason. And that's kind of why I eventually said that that 50 grand at the time, most of my friends were in university, uh, you know, paying 50 grand for a degree. So it's like, well, I was able to rationalize it. Well, I got my bachelor's degree for painting and that's how, that's how I paid it. It's kind of like, it's kind of the reason why I'm calling this expressions painting university, right? As well, because, <laughs> To me, it's I got my bachelor's degree in painting through that $50,000 mistake, and now I'm hoping to pass that on to other painters so that you guys can kick ass faster without having that big learning curve that I had to go through. Well, we appreciate it, man. I, I know I, I don't know if I speak for Oscar, but I'm sure I, can, I say thank you, you know, for everything you've done for the industry, man. I watch your videos, and I'm amazed because a lot of the things you do, we do. And we have done. And it's like, and I showed my brother, you know, some videos of you. And he was saying, man, this guy knows his shit. You know, <laughs> it's hard to come across people that we've actually seen ourselves that know, actually really know how to paint. And just everything that you say and do is like, man, not only does he know how to paint, but he knows about the paint. And it's just amazing to see that you've taken all that and, and used it for the better. And we really appreciate it, man. I know I do because uh, I see the stories you tell reminds me of what I've gone through already this year and what I think I have to look forward to. But since I've met you and we've done this, we've talked that time on the phone, it's actually helped me out and growing a little bit of confidence and knowing where I stand. And if I don't, you know, twist those and tweak those things that I need to change. Now I could be looking at a $50 mistake because of my own, not lack of knowledge, but also because of my generosity. And those are things that I have to. You know, there's, there's a, well, first of all, I appreciate you saying that it's, it's uh, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing because I believe that all of us are here to first learn and then teach, right? Most of us will end up doing that with our kids, right? We'll yeah. learn some stuff that we'll pass on to our kids. But we can extend that influence and help so many more people career-wise or friend-wise, right? I mean, it's, that's the whole 
cycle of life. We learn and we teach. We learn and we teach. We make mistakes. We grow. We learn. And I've always wanted to be a public speaker. I've wanted to be a seminar, an author, be on stage, helping thousands and millions of people. I've always wanted to do that. I know it's in my blood to do so. But doing this with the painting industry is what I've really mastered in my career. And so at, at the beginning, I wasn't even thinking that there would have been a demand for this kind of service. But now I'm realizing that there really is. It really is, man. It really is. And I, I love to be able to be in that place because I feel that the painters and the painting industry has had a bad reputation for yeah. good reasons. But I think that there is an opportunity now to drastically, radically change that. And you guys are the first out of towners as far as the the army that I'm trying to build so that we, so that we can really put a dent and 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 have our contribution to the industry be remembered and appreciated to the for the generations to come. So guys, uh, this journey doesn't end in six weeks. It's it's ongoing. It's a big mission that I'm on, but. If you guys will join me, I'll, I'll, uh, absolutely, I'll, man. I'll continue.